This is the first result of the great 14th century bed linen and underwear boom. The guy who used to go around collecting bones for fertilizer now started collecting linen too. He became a rag and bone man. Why? Well, that's the second result of everybody wearing linen. Because when they wore it out, they threw it away. So there was this great pile of linen rag. And guess who went bananas about that? Okay, let me give you a clue. The first thing that happens to the linen in this process is that they take it and rip it against a knife to make the rags even smaller. And what is shredded linen rag absolutely perfect for making? Yes, paper. So the paper makers got an unexpected linen rag bonanza, pounded by hammers, tripped again by the can. You bash the rag in water and gum for 48 hours and the sludge you get is paper pulp. Slosh that onto a wire mesh frame, count five, and you've got yourself a sheet of paper. Well, a sheet of very wet paper. So the next thing you do, no prizes, is dry it. Funny coincidence, the wire mesh frame, a lot of wire makers about, making all that gold embroidery people had started wearing. Anyway, the paper. You lay each sheet between layers of woolen cloth to soak up the moisture. Looks more like a sheet of porridge, doesn't it? And when you've got a big pile of wool and wet paper sandwiches stacked up, you call the lads. All you do now is squeeze the pile in a press until you've got nearly all the water out of the paper, when you hang it up to dry, and that's all there is to it. Funny how it all comes together here in the paper mill. The water power to run the cams, tripping the hammers to make the pulp, the wine press come linen press to squeeze out the water, and thanks to the automatic loom, the linen that makes the pulp. And because of all that free linen, suddenly the cheapest thing around was paper. This is uh, one of those moments in history when things come together like a jigsaw to produce something, something entirely new. Look at the bits we've got so far. Because of the linen, we have cheap paper. The Black Death is just over, so the economy of Europe is on the up and up, administration is expanding, there are many more clerks needed to do all the paperwork. However, the Black Death has killed half the clerks off, so they cost a great deal. So we have extremely cheap paper, and the cost of a man who writes on it has gone up astronomically. What do you need to solve that problem? Yes, printing. And that's exactly what happened. 